my dear students in this video we're gonna take sad practice on ecology let's start the first question in a pond community the greatest mass present would consist of try to imagine that you are um, in front of a pond which one of those you will find most algae or insects frogs fish fungi of course the answer it would be a algae great algae will have the greatest mass why greatest mass because greatest mass for producers and the only producer here is a mutualism question number two mutualism is a, a exemplified by which of those consider like mutualism as you know the answer is a lichens lichens a mutualistic relationship between photosynthetic organism like uh, algae or photosynthetic bacteria and fungi and lichens are pioneer species you will find uh, lichens or lichens have the ability to start a primary succession climax community what's the meaning of a climax climax community climax community means well adapted community in a certain environment so which one of those will have the same meaning or will give us the same result question number three the answer is c very good is stable within a given climate why stable because well adapted because this community is a community that's well adapted in this climate in an ecosystem the greatest amount of stored chemical bond energy is generally found in the greatest amount of stored chemical energy try to imagine there is a pyramid of energy the greatest amount will be found where as i told you in producers so the answer is a primary producers because try to imagine there is a, a pyramid of energy you start with the greatest amount in the base producers and as you go up the amount of energy will decrease question five <clears throat> living in a close nutritional relationship with another organism in which one organism benefits one benefits and the other one is neither harmed nor benefits so which type of uh, symbiotic relationship it's symbiotic relationship but which type the answer of number five is d commensalism question six digestion of cellulose by protozoan found in a termite as you know inside the termites there is a protozoan protozoan protist inside termites they they both benefit the protozoan helps termite to digest cellulose and also the termite provides the uh, protozoan with nutrients so which type of mutual uh, of relationship is it it's mutualism mutualism question seven which of the following fixes atmospheric nitrogen question seven the answer is b symbiotic bacteria on the roots of legumes or nitrogen fixing bacteria in the nodules inside legumes nitrogen fixing bacteria denitrifying bacteria which process which process uh, occurs by the help of denitrifying bacteria denitrifying means turning nitrogen back eight the answer of eight is b turn ammonia into nitrogen to get nitrogen back to the atmosphere 
in the nitrogen cycle. So turn ammonia into nitrogen. Let's go to the next page. A stable ecosystem, a stable ecosystem requires a constant energy source or requires living system or is self-sustaining or requires cycling of materials between the living systems or all of the above. Of course, the answer is all of the above. Because what the meaning of having stable system? It means that there are producers, there are uh, climax species or climax communities of producers, consumers. So there is a stable uh, self sustaining the, uh, this ecosystem is independent system. This ecosystem has its all uh, its levels of organization. There are living systems or communities, uh, climax communities, as we said before, and of course, there will be fungi and recycling of materials. Which of the following is a ma marine zone? Actually, the answer is D, all of the above. Intertidal zone is the uh, first zone, as you know, the, the region that's exposed to high tide and low tide and the organisms there are exposed to air sometimes to sunlight uh, after that be littoral zone this is a region on the continental shelf after the intertidal zone till 600 feet depth after that pelagic zone this pelagic zone, it's a typical open sea, which has a photic zone also, uh, and contains uh, phytoplanktons, zooplanktons, fish, shark, whales, in the open ocean zone. So the answer of number 10, all of the above. A biome characterized by permafrost before completion of this sentence, we can decide that it's Arctic tundra. It's tundra, but Arctic or Alpine tundra, it's Arctic. Because the difference between both is uh, Alpine tundra, it has soil, normal soil, while Arctic, it has permafrost. Of course, the permafrost not in taiga, and uh, the coniferous forest, if there is permafrost, of course, there will not be any conifers or any trees. The area where permafrost exists, you will find only lichens, mosses, primitive plants, but there, there are no trees. Question number 12. In a food chain of grass, prairie dogs, snake, owl, the secondary consumer would be producer, primary consumer, and then secondary consumer. So the answer is snake, C. The grass is producer, prairie dog, primary consumer, then secondary consumer. Owl, tertiary consumer. Question number 13. In the northeastern United States, the final succession climax stage of a fresh lake will be a freshwater lake. If there are climax species and stable final succession stage, it means that it's a stable environment. So, of course, not much. We, we said that it's a lake. Only also grass, it's not a, a, or it won't give an indication for stability, the stability by having trees, deciduous forests. So the answer of number 13 is E. Thank you for your listening.